disgraced Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz is accused of misconduct by former nanny. So let's talk about it. Carl Lentz's former nanny, Leona Kimes, published an essay on Medium in which she claimed to have experienced a great deal of pain while working as a nanny in Lentz's NYC home for seven years. I was subjected to manipulation, control, bullying, and abuse of power, among other things, she wrote. Having told almost no one before this, I am just now able to share what I experienced in their home as a result of intense therapy. I credit Ms. Kimes for stepping up, for being strong, bold, and courageous and getting the help that she needs. If you have not checked out my previous videos on the firing of Carl Lentz and his wife coming out to speak after about a year's time, please do so. The video is on the screen right now. And to all the individuals who were subject to Carl Lentz's inappropriate behavior, I pray that you're getting the healing and the help that you need as well. While Kimes did not initially name Lentz as a former employer, she later identified him by name in a statement to religious news service. I felt trapped and silenced. I also felt so ashamed and I had been told not to say anything or tell anyone. And this is my issue with this, and I've said this in my previous videos. So many times we have individuals who work for these ministers, these leaders, for these influencers, and these influencers have so much control over them and they're manipulative and oftentimes narcissistic that people around them hold them up to a pedestal. And the employees such as Mrs. Kimes are subject to their mishandlings. And they're often told not to say anything because if they were to come out and speak their peace and their truth, the individuals who are held to this higher pedestal will be looked at, will be frowned upon. And oftentimes the individuals who are subject to these misappropriate actions will be frowned upon and they will be shunned and ostracized. So again, I congratulate Ms. Kimes for coming forward and being bold and courageous. And I pray that all of the individuals who were taken advantage of will come forward and speak their truth because there's healing and there's peace in speaking your truth. In her essay, Kimes claims that I was physically violated by his unwanted and repeated touching of my intimate areas. I froze every time I froze. He also writes that his mishandling of power started small. And I've heard this time and time again while coaching individuals. Usually the misconduct starts small. It starts with touching. It starts with inappropriate text messages. And these individuals, particularly men, in a lot of cases, do these small things just to check the woman's temperature. And when they feel that they can proceed with their inappropriate actions, that's when their true colors come out. Kimes alleges that the misconduct started small too, like cat calls around the house, which escalated, like being told after you have kids, will buy you a chess job. She writes about the moment my pastor noticed my body in a way that felt predatory to me. This is a classic case of objectifying. If a man struggles with these things, he often objectifies women. He often treats women as objects and less than human. And if this is the case, once again, there's layers and layers of misconduct that's going on with Carl Lentz. And if he doesn't get the help that he needs, he's subject to continuously go down this road. I'm not going to read all of the specifics to this essay. You can look it up for yourself. I would say if anyone is struggling with character and integrity, I pray and I hope that you get the help that you need. I'm offering a free one hour coaching session. The email address is on the screen right now, lifecoachjscott at gmail.com. It's time for us as men to step up to the plate and be the leaders that God has called us to be. We have to renew our mind on a daily basis. We have to take up our cross and walk. And what that means is we have to love everyone unconditionally. If we have issues that we have not dealt with, we need to get the coaching and the counseling and the therapy that's so much important for our healing and our freedom. Again, if you have not checked out my previous videos, 
on the Carl Lentz allegations and the firing of him by Hillsong founder Brian Houston, please do so. The video is on the screen right now. Thank you again for hanging out with me in this video. I can't wait to hang out with you in the next. Take care.